Yes. Has that order been quite correct, Jim? Um, shouldn't it be Hopi's Suisa? In Florida it takes the data, doesn't it? And you, Jordan. The girls still, still playing sandcastles as usual, are they? Well, uh, keeps them out of mischief, doesn't it? Wouldn't be happening in Germany, if there were This is a sort of idea, sir. For a town, after the war. How things could be one day. Utopia has never been my idea of a desirable address, I'm afraid. Get him! Mutti, can I meet again? Not now, Josef. Why did we come here? Because they were willing to have us. We must be grateful. Why? They hate us. Joseph, you must try to understand them. Jordan? Yes, sir? You're not supposed to be responsible for Hirsch. He's talking to strangers. That's his mother, sir. You better go down. It must be hard for you having your mate on the premises all the time. I, I wouldn't want mine hanging about. Especially if she was skivvying. <laughs> Sir? Well? They're fighting, sir. And? Should they be, sir? I think so, Carmody. Keeps them out of mischief. Uh, it's based on greed and the hope of getting out more than you put in. And there are empires like the British Empire, if indeed there are any like it, which I take leave to doubt, in which the sole purpose of the exercise is to spread justice to our dominions. To spread what, Jordan? Uh, sir? To spread what? Justice, sir. At least one of the class is able to talk in his sleep. To spread justice to our dominions, whether under palm or pine. Quite often, we've been invited in by grateful kings and princes needing our support against unscrupulous foreigners. Until the British arrived in India, there was nothing but chaos and misery. There was no sort of justice at all. The French, of course, wanted to get everything they could out of it. Likewise, the Portuguese. And then came Clyde. Major, I'd like a word. Yes? About the general standard of turnout and efficiency. Take this morning, when word came about the mine. Nobody knew what to do or where to go. I thought we got on the move with impressive dispatch. But was there a plan? A sense of cohesion, discipline, command structure. The point is for the boys to live within a disciplined and competitive system at every moment of the day. At night? Or would they not be expected to compete at night? Is this a bad moment, Headmaster? No, I don't think so. If they were accustomed to organized competition, we should have a more alert, competent, and patriotic spirit. They'd be keener when the time came for them to go into the forces. And beyond that, after the war, we're going to need order, organization. We're certainly not going to need a sissified bunch of crybabies who know how to build sandcastles and arrange British colonials in their albums. This country is in the state it is on account of the clever clevers. The types who fill the natural leaders with all sorts of doubts and uncertainties. If we're not ready for these characters after the war, Headmaster, we shall find them more than ready for us, I fear. We would appear to have a month or two in hand before that. You don't, I hope, resent my having spoken so freely. On the contrary. Freedom of speech is something to which I attach a great deal of importance. Before, during, or after the war. 
Pay attention. Thank you, Mr. Klaus. Well, well. Where did you spring from, Jordan? I, I've just been to the lab, sir. He did not know where to go. I showed him. Go back to bed, Jordan. Yes, sir. Mrs. Hirsch, might one ask what you're doing up and about at this time of night? No. She entertains our allies, I believe. <laughs> 